World Cup draw, Samoa first up in uh, 18 months' time at St James's Park, a mouthwatering start to the competition. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, Real got the blood flowing up there in the uh, in the draw, and obviously Newcastle, St James's Park. We've obviously took rugby league up there a few times, and and, and how amazing it's been. But yeah, for internationals to go up there, it's going to be a different kettle of fish and pack to the rafters, hopefully. And a great way to get the competition away against a great side who are definitely going to test you. Yeah, definitely. I think you know some more. Uh, we played some more good few times, and we know how passionate of a nation they are, and how good they are at rugby league, and yeah, potentially the opportunity to play. You know, Sonny Bill will be playing maybe, and yeah, I think he's only going to drive and inspire them to to, to go on to a World Cup. Yeah, certainly, he'd be a great selling point to the people who perhaps don't know rugby league in the North East. Definitely, yeah, I think. Uh, one thing I've noticed about the people in the North East, how passionate they are regarding sport, you know, whether it's football, you know, the cricket, whatever it is. And yeah, I think us taking a World Cup up there is it's only it's just a smart decision, people in charge of the World Cup. It's gonna be so so big and like I keep saying, hopefully it's packed. I mean, if you seen with the Magic Weekend yourself and we've seen with the Rugby Union European Cup finals there last yeah, year, true. they do get behind big events. Of course, they're just the sporting city. I think it's the same as Liverpool, Manchester, you know, and, and down south. It's just a massive sport one of the biggest if not the biggest and I, yeah really that's one of the most best places I've played at you know Magic Weekend up there is, is an unbelievable concept but like I said to play up there with you know hopefully with this badge on will be one of the proudest things you'll do Samoa first up and then you've got two European sides France of course England play plenty of times yeah. and there's always a team who seems to be on the verge of going to world something big we saw the Catalans win the Challenge Cup of course last year but they're definitely going to be a tougher opposition of course and I think uh, the added pressure of a World Cup you know when we play France it's usually in a friendly I think you know the French lads will be pulling that, you know that bad John for a World Cup. It's a totally different kettle of fish, and yeah, it's, it's a tough game, but one we're definitely looking forward to. And no one knows anything about Greece, so there could be absolutely anything when we come to play them. Of course, yeah, I think uh, that's one of the dangers. You know, potential banana skin. I don't think if you if you underestimate any nation, I think you know Greece. Fact about Greece was the rugby league was actually banned in their country until not long ago, and and now they're in a World Cup. So yeah, potential banana skin and a lot of good players will be playing for them. You know, I think people will write them off too early, but it'll be a tough one for us. And yeah, just excitement with all these new teams. So close in 2017. I was watching on at home, and it was heartbreaking yes, watching yeah. it. Heartbreaking, obviously, but for those involved, but. How close do you think we are, England, to winning a World Cup? Yeah, I remember sitting at home watching that 2017 uh, final and I think we was an ankle tap away, weren't we, from getting the win. And what I think that group's been building since then, you know, how close we can actually go and to winning this thing. And, you know, I think we've improved, you know, since. So, yeah, really looking forward to it and hopefully we can go all the way. When you first got involved in rugby league, do you ever think you'd be watching the draw at Buckingham Palace draw by Prince Harry? No, definitely not. I first got involved in rugby league a, a, lot, a long, long time ago and, yeah, I think the I think that today just shows how far this game has actually come. You know, getting people like, you know, Royal Highness, Super Sussex involved, and all the great faces you see today, Jason Robinson, and all the legends, and all the people with the power behind it. It's just a, it's an exciting time to be a rugby league fan, player, coach, whatever it is. And yeah, this World Cup's going to be big. And it's not just about the men, of course, England's women and wheelchair teams yeah, involved as well. How closely do you all work together and will be working together against ahead of the World Cup? I think we'll be close. You know, I remember first meeting with England when I first got involved with the setup four years ago and Kev, you know, addressed it as, you know, the three te- you know, the big three teams and, you know, the men, women, the wheelchair team and how, how tight a bond we wanted to get that. And I think we're all behind this one badge. You know, whether it's men, women or the wheelchair, we all play for England. And that's that's the exciting thing. We'll all be wanting to cheer each other on in each other's success and, and vice versa. So yeah, I, I can imagine this next few years is going to be a real close knit three teams and excited. As much as we talk about how uh, you know you're all closing in and how the, the world's moved on, England versus Brazil in the women's world cup is a fixture. I guess you never would have ever thought would have ever existed. Never in your lifetime would you have thought the England women would be playing you know Brazil and yeah, it's going to be a, it'd be a different test for them. I imagine uh, obviously relatively unknown but just like Greece you know there's always surprise packages football cricket you know hopefully this might be one for the Rugby League World Cup so yeah be prepared plenty of Rugby League to come between now and then an Asher series to come up and obviously you got to defend the title with St Helens this year but it's going to be a great build of a great 18 months or so until that World Cup of course yeah I think that's the best thing uh, you know the minute you start thinking about the World Cup you know that today you can put it behind you know you know it's, there's a lot of big things in between obviously the Saints season you know, wanted to back up our success from last and obviously an Ashes series what I want to be involved in at the end of the year, which will also go towards building towards this World Cup. So yeah, exciting year and you know hopefully it'll be a good one. Final one, obviously we don't know who's the coach is going to be, but what's Wayne Bennett brought to your game as uh, England and Great Britain coach? Uh, he's been nothing but brilliant for, for all the lads I think involved with the England setup. I think from the minute he came in he was he's just been a positive 
you know, mindset, great, great leader, great person to be around. And I think the press see a, see a sort of different side to him, but he's been brilliant for us, and I've really enjoyed my time working with him. And hopefully, I'll enjoy myself working, carrying on with him. But yeah, that's that's not a, as a player. You just want to pull that shirt on, don't you? Whatever happens, happens, and yeah, I'll be excited. Whatever the re, whatever happens.